So let's convert 3 pi over 4 radians into degrees. So how do we do that? Well, we want to remember that there are pi radians all right, in or equivalent to 180 degrees. In other words, 3.14 radians is equivalent to 180 degrees. If you were to divide both sides by 3.14, what you would find is basically that one radian is equivalent to 57.3, roughly, 57.3 degrees. In other words, a radian is just simply a different type of angular measurement. All right, we're used to dealing with degrees. Radians are definitely useful mathematically, although we don't use them really in everyday uh, life. So, uh, well, unless you're a mathematician or you're taking this class, which I guess this is everyday life, so uh, you know what I mean. So what we're going to do here is to do this conversion, I'm going to take the given value of 3 pi over 4 radians. Now the unit here really belongs in the numerator, okay, with this fraction. What I want to then do is, in order to do my conversion, I'm going to use this known relationship between radians and degrees, all right? First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this radian value, okay, and I'm going to plug it in down here at the bottom. Uh, so that the radians will eventually cancel, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the degrees value, and actually, let me do this at the same time. I'm going to bring then the pi value down with the radians. So to make it even easier, right, what I'm going to do is just take this whole thing, bring it down there, all right? Take this whole thing then and bring it on there because this is a known relationship between the two. So what will happen is the radians will cancel, and the unit that's left here is going to be in terms of degrees, and all we now need to do is just kind of simplify. So we would multiply across, right, each of the terms. And instead of doing that, you know, right away, I'm going to do some cancellations because the pi's will cancel. They're on opposite sides there, right? One's in the numerator, one's in the denominator. Also, I realize that I can start simplifying these two, right? So if you, does 4 go into 180? Well, you can always check that out with the calculator. And it does, right? So it goes into 180 45 times. And therefore now, when we simplify this, it's just simply 3 times 45, which would be about 135 degrees. So guess what? That is indeed the angular uh, measurement here in degrees. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. Help us out by subscribing and hitting that like button, right? I really appreciate it so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.